my head of the universe and surrounding areas. Um, this is gonna be a kind of special video because we're starting a new game called Rimworld, and I am doing this because one, my um, channel anniversary was a couple of days ago, and two, my birthday is coming up in a few days, so this is going to be kind of in the middle, special video, kind of in the middle here, we're going to be starting RimWorld, um, so yeah, let's, um, let's pop right into it then, so, uh, I'm just going to stay with Cassandra Classic Base Builder, because I'm not good enough to survive rough, Base Builder sounds good, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna select Albalda and wait for that to load up. I think I'm gonna live here-ish. That's good. Uh, just you know, thinking over. Uh, this guy's good. He's not incapable of everything. So yeah. So let's let's take this guy. He's name is Jonathan Medcalf. We'll just call him John. He's a butcher. He was a farm boy, he worked on his family's farm, he looked after the animals and treated them when they were injured, preferring hands-on tasks and the outdoors. He avoided softer jobs that might have kept him coop up inside. He enjoyed his lonely work and tended to stay out of people's way and do his own thing, so he's got good mealy growing and mining, and less social and cooking. See, adulthood, John began hearing voices, the animals were talking to him, insulting him. He he came to hate them and eventually killed his furry former friends. He started selling the meat just to get human interaction. So, plus six melee, plus two social, plus two construction, plus three mining, uh, minus three medicine, minus four research. So, yep. He's really passionate about this melee stuff and he is depressive. Uh, he's He loves heat. And he is steadfast, so that's pretty good. We'll take this guy. Uh, let's see. Yulia Yulia Ochoa. That sounds cool. Uh, incapable of skilled labor and hauling. I, d I don't want anybody to be incapable of anything, so here we go. Michael Silvador Silvers. Um, Alright, he's a young guy. He grew up in a shelter deep beneath a toxic world. He received a comprehensive education but had no opportunity to do physical labor. It's plus two social, plus three medicine, plus three research, minus two construction, minus two mining. Perfect. He was a uh, milit- and then he, in adulthood he was a military commissar, um, internal spy master in an imperial army battalion. He made sure the men were loyal and did not fall back unless ordered. This made him unpopular, but he gained great skill at detecting the slightest dishonesty, so he has plus three shooting because of that. Now he is heat tolerant. Nice. He is an optimist, which will contradict John's pessimism. Not pessimism, but just depressiveness. And he's also trigger happy. <laughs> he's a terrible shot, but he doesn't care because guns are awesome. Have to agree with him there. So yeah, let's keep Silvador. Then we finally have Casey Brown Brown again. Uh, he was a sickly child. He suffered from, like, a sickness, uh, he was quarantined in a research hospital, had minimal human contact, and got little physical exercise in the sterile hospital environment, however, she became very familiar with science and medicine. Um, so she has, uh, plus five medicine and plus four research, so that's awesome, but also minus two melee, minus two social, and minus two construction, and she is a slowpoke. So she's a slow walker and she's neurotic. So um yeah, I think I'll we can work with her. So we have um John the butcher, Silvador the commissar, and Brown the herbalist. So let's hop right in. All right. This is exciting. All right, let's do this. Dun, 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 waiting for things to happen. All right. Okay. 
So, this is what it says. The three of you awake in your crypt-asleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and rippling metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. As the pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Awesome. So, let's watch these guys fall to the earth. So let's just quickly... Yeah. And... No. Alright, so we've got brown... This is Brown, our herbalist. Silvador has an awesome thing here, and there's John. So, what is John doing right now? Is John barfing? Was he barfing? Like, what? What's going on? Oh, he's barfed. He barfed. Ooh. Okay. Well. Let's get to work here. I'm gonna start letting them take all these things, because you need them for survival, says. Um, so these three are doing nothing right now, so what I'm going to do is, uh, quickly jump into Architect. Uh, there's a nice little house there, but, um, let's jump into Structure. 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 Okay, so I'm just going to make some walls. Let's see how much silver do we have? Wood. Okay. Well, okay. So we have this place here. So I can order someone to mine this. This looks good. So let's just mine all this. Not all of it, but all this up. This. And surrounding area like that. So just mind that if you could, Mr. John. Um, let's see, deconstruct. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Rear, 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 rear a sprung trap so it can be triggered again. Uh, okay. So let's. So go ahead and get mining, boys. We need this. Yeah, this is awesome. We already have steel. We have some limestone chunks. What's this ground? Okay, well, we have some limestone chunks. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a zone, a uh, stockpile zone. So, I'm going to create a stockpile, a stockpile here. And pretty much, they're gonna put everything that they need into that stockpile. And, uh... Oh, I need to quickly go in and make sure everyone is doing everything. So... Cut plants. Art. Research. Everyone gets to do everything, don't you worry. Yep. Uh-huh. So that means if anyone dies, everyone can still do stuff. So yeah, because people die often. And that is bad. So there we go. Oh, well, I just want to quickly check out the factions that we have. So we've got Surgeon's Plane. I'm I'm doing enemy of the face beaters and the monkeys. Uh, and so we are so we are friends with Surgeon's Plane. And a uh, small town at the cliff. So, uh, uh, awesome. Then we have Bren Basculo, which is bad. Who's bad? Which is a tribe. Uh, not, so they're hostile to us. The face beaters are hostile, of course, and then the monkeys are super hostile. So that is badness. Okay. Well, let's get everyone. Mm. Okay, why is why are we not taking the steel and stuff? Well, let's see if I can make any uh walls steel. Nope, I still don't have enough steel. I have a lot of What is that? What's that? I have a lot of I have silver. I can make silver for now, I guess. Yeah, alright. I can only make three walls, though, because I only have 300 silver there. 
think they're gonna have to mine up some some uh, steel quick because steel walls are way better I'm also gonna need to make a steel door as well so mine up that steel just let me just fast forward just a little bit So, yep. Okay, so, uh, we've got some weapons over here. We've got, I, so, we usually just have, wait, no. You are not forbidden. So, usually we have just a plasteel knife, a pistol, and a, uh, survival rifle. So, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm, so, jo our commissar is getting the pistol. Um, our herbalist will be getting the knife, and I think we'll equip our unstable butcher with the rifle. So, yeah. Yep, so, ah, let's just let them get all this stuff. Just take out that, take out that to the place. Nothing is forbidden at all, so you just take everything pretty much. So, I think just for now, uh, let's get furniture. Let's take these sleeping spots. And for tonight, I think we'll just have three sleeping spots in here just for people to sleep tonight. Human leather armchairs. Is there any other alternative ways? Okay, so we can make a human leather armchair. We can make a lot of things actually. Wow. The equipment rack. Cool. Alright, well. Um. I don't want people to sleep on the ground, just, uh... So, I'm gonna set this owner as John, and this as... Just for now, we're gonna sleep here, and... This is gonna be Silvador's bed. There. So, I'm just gonna fast forward until morning. One of these two sleepy heads wakes up. I know it's morning time. Yep. So, yeah, let's. And then once they wake up, they'll probably mine a little bit more, and then we'll probably be able to make an actual house that is our house! Not their house! Our house! So, we're going to build a room real quick then. Right, ought to save your way. It's victory. Alright. This is the most boring part, just waiting for people to wake up. Faster. Is anybody gonna wake up soon? There we go. So, people are doing stuff. What is John doing? What are you doing, man? He is... I don't know. I guess he's like stargazing or something. I don't know. Looking up, laying down. I think he just needs some help. So, I'm guessing last night was good. So, yeah. I'm just gonna fast forward through this mining a little bit. So, once they get most of this stuff mined up, we'll be able to put all this silver in the stockpile. I'm oh, not silver, steel in the stockpile. And, yeah. That's gonna be cool. So there we go. Someone's... Oh no. Well, uh, they're almost done mining, and then once they're done mining, they'll, um... Start hauling. Yeah, see, they started hauling.
There we go. So, they should be going to bed soon. Yep, there they are. They're in bed. So, um... Yeah, while they're in bed, I'm going to slow down a little bit and see if I can get some steel walls. Yes! There we go. So, of course, I'm going to make them out of steel and I'm going to... Oh. Going to get clear out an area. Alright, so it's going to be a 7 by 10 house. Then four here. And then we'll have a steel door right there. We've got enough steel to do it. Uh, so let's fast forward. Build your things, man! So now I'm gonna need it's auto saving. I'm gonna need floors. Um, let's see what's concrete. Concrete will work. Oh, we'll slow down a little bit. So I'm going to plan. Oh, sorry about that stuff. Um, paved tile. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, well, uh, let's get some... I mean... I think we have enough for paved tile. Well, no. I think I'm for just... Just for now, I'm gonna do concrete. Because that's the easiest thing right now. So, let's just let them... Let's fast forward just a little bit. Get them to build all the stuff. Brown's doing something. There we go. go starting to build a roof paving the floor chopping down trees and we have our own little house here nice this is awesome so now that we've got a house we also need a meal source we need a meal source so um i'm just going to kind of look around this is water i believe uh this is water right let me just check shallow water. Well, I'm pretty sure there's... Well, let's see. Uh, we're gonna need power. So we have a power con... We have a solar... We can do a wind turbine. And we need some power conduits. And we need batteries. And we're gonna just need stuff to put stuff in. Wait, let's just make these things non-forbidden anymore. Because we're gonna need this silver anyway. So, this is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. So, um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to, uh, fast forward a little bit more. And while they're asleep, I'm going to buff, buff it now. Okay, so, what I need to do now, I'm going to, what's this up here? meals okay well uh what I'm what I need to do now we need a meal source correct so what we're gonna do is we're going to go well I guess we can let them sleep so we're going to go to zone slash area so we're gonna make a growing zone right behind the house it's gonna be our little garden and it'll be pretty big so yeah, that's our new growing zone, and we're going to have someone go put plants in it. And while they're sleeping, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to furniture. I'm going to see if I can get some steel for some regular old beds. So let's see if I can't have enough steel. So here's bed number one. Oh, wait, let's try that again. Here's bed number one. Bed number two and bed number three. And they um like um being alone while they sleep, so we'll make some steel walls. So alright, so it looks like you'll be here for a while. John is suggesting that you give the colony a nave. 
name? What should be what it should it be called? Um so uh I've been waiting for this. So we're gonna call our colony the Pie Head Pie Pie Head Place. So awesome. Our colony is now known as Pie Head Place. There we go. So now um we just need people to do stuff. And then let's see uh what we have here. That is steel there. So let's get the orders out and let's mine some of this. Yeah, let's mine that, but also build that. So so these beds, I'm just going to take away these beds. Deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct. So now we're going to make these beds. This bed, this is for um, John. This one is for Silvador. And this one is for Brown. So now let's go to structure. So we need some... Steel walls. Oh, let's 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 slow it down a little bit. So let's just build some steel walls here. So everyone has their own space. We're gonna have otter doors. So this guy needs like. Duh. Three and then in, and now we're gonna get our steel doors here, like that, 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 and yeah. And then we're going to have a another place here, and this is just gonna be a sleeping spot. No, wait, wait, steel bed, regular bed. Just a just this bed, bed, and it's going to be. So this bed, well, this bed is going to be for uh, medical reasons, uses, and stuff. So let's just let him get that going. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's just let him build some of this stuff and oh cargo pods one sec pause cargo pods you've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby perhaps you'll find something so jump to location all right so let's just get everything here and make it non forbidden so people so our people can get that stuff what's this Oh, it's just a tortoise. Okay, well, let's go back home. Yeah, wherever our home is. Oh, wait, wait, I know where this is. It's actually not far at all. So, yeah, it's actually just down. Oh, well, uh, they know where it is. I told them that they could grab it. They probably will grab it. So now, uh, let's just let them work their magic a little more. Brown's building away at that bed. They're planting. Uh, Alright, so this bed is going to be set as a medical bed. And, um, yeah, soon enough. This is going to be... Alright, so now I'm going to get structure. So this is going to be... Wait, no. Alright, so that one. Wait. That one cancel that blueprint and we're going to need another steel door there's visitors from surgeon's plane they're coming okay where are they coming from all right so we have Breton Zelf Zeef okay well nice I mean oh yes that is what we need that is what we need perfect this is a steam geyser. Once we get our research bench and start researching, 
then we're going to be able to research geothermal energy. That's always the first thing I research, and we're going to get power from here so we can get a cook station and stuff like that. So while they sleep, I'm just going to speed it up till morning. So while they sleep, I'm going to go to uh, restrictions. Yeah. So pretty much, um, I'm going to give each of them. So work is in the morning, and it's going to be for four hours in the morning. They're going to have three hours, four hours of joy. So they can do stuff with each other. Then they can have anything for the next four hours. And then the last four hours are work again. So, yeah. And they're all unrestricted. They can go anywhere, pretty much. So this is going to be their schedule. So they... F go to sleep at uh, 22 hours and then they wake up at around um, wait actually if they wake up I mean oh well uh, I'll just I'll do that later so there's Brett so we're just gonna run through this a little bit more so um yeah uh so, we're pretty much almost there. So, now what I'm going to do, this is going to be our prisoner place thing. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a, I'm going to make a couple of sleeping spots. Like there, and there. And then if I press Q, perfect. So those are our prisoner beds. I'm going to quickly set them for prisoners. Yeah, exactly. So those that's our prison. And yeah. Well, um, I think that is enough for today. Uh, let me just quickly... I, I just really want to do this. So, I'm going to christen our new house. This is our... Alright, so, I placed the plans for the research table. So, yeah, we've survived a few days. We have... So, um, this is going to be our first episode here of uh, RimWorld with John Brown and Sylvador. And I hope to see you...